Welcome into another edition of the 24-7 Sports Football Recruiting Podcast. I am Blair Angulo, joined by Steve Wolfong, the Director of Recruiting at 24-7 Sports, and we are here to discuss the breakdown and the commitment of David Hicks, the number one rated defensive lineman in the 2023 class, five-star from the state of Texas, is staying in state, just announced his commitment to the Texas A&M Aggies. Steve, how did Jimbo Fisher and company pull this one off? Well, I think it was a late push here at the end to overcome Oklahoma, who had led from the end of the summer. But look, Texas A&M has led for much of David DJ Hicks's process. They offered him a scholarship back in eighth grade. And, and this is how far back those relationships go. And uh, the connection with Elijah Robinson and the connection with Nick Williams, who's one of the best off-field recruiters in the country. And then, of course, Coach Jimbo Fisher and, and proximity to home. I think that all those things weighed into this decision. Uh, uh, David Hicks went to Texas A&M's last two games, was there for the victory over Miami. And, uh, uh, you know, I think as his decision got closer, uh, uh, it just – just as he started dotting his I's and crossing his T's, a and the program that led the longest for him. That's the one he goes with today, joining a Texas A&M class that's now ranked number 18 nationally, Blair. Uh, uh, but when you look at the way A&M recruited last year, number one recruiting class in 24-7 sports history, championed by that defensive line hall, there is a standard in that position room now that you really have to recruit to. And there's not many guys in this 2023 class that stack up with that 2022 hall. But David Hicks is one of them. He's a guy that can come in and push that epic class. He's a guy that I think can see the field early despite what they signed last year. And AM adds another terrific piece to that defensive line room here, holding off a very hot Oklahoma team on the trail. Really impressive, right, what that staff is able to do considering that they did sign Walter Nolan and, and guys like LT Overton and Anthony Lucas, who were five stars in their own class. And now David Hicks joins this group. I'm curious as to how you see him fitting in amongst those guys, right? Like with line prospects, with, with guys in the trenches, maybe you don't expect them to see the field early on, but David Hicks is, is, is supremely special and is one of those players in this 23 class that, you know, considering what he's able to do, wouldn't surprise many of us if we saw him make an impact next year. Well, six foot four, 270 pounds, extreme, extremely explosive, powerful, change of direction at the point of attack. He's a guy that you can play on the edge. He can bring you some pass rush from the interior. He can hold the edge. He can play the run. Uh, uh, he's just the guy that, again, you know, large hands, good length, uh, uh, um, and, and uh, uh, just, uh, like I said, an explosive player at the point of attack. You know, he, he's a guy that can play early anywhere in the country. Again, obviously, we love what AM signed last year, but 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 Hicks is someone that can come in and push those guys and play alongside those guys and ensure that Texas AM will have one of the best defensive lines in college football for years to come. Yeah, AM, a top 25 class heading into the week, and now they add David Hicks. This was a, a monumental victory because they have needed a, a bit of a kick, right? I think. They've had, in a way, uh, a, a, a cycle where it hasn't really gone their way as maybe we would have expected coming off of that number one class in 2022 and in that cycle, considering everything and all the, the victories that they had on the recruiting trail. This year, a little bit slower to start out of the gate. Uh, only 12 commitments now with David Hicks in the boat. What do you see for the Aggies until the early signing period in the next three months? Well, this is a class that is smaller because of the class that they signed last cycle being so big. But pound for pound, when you look at average ranking per commit before before Hicks even jumped in the fold, it was a top 10 class in that category. So, you know, it's it, it, it's a terrific class from top to bottom. You add Hicks, the number one defensive lineman in the country, to Anthony Hill, who's the number one ranked linebacker in, in America. They have Bravian Rogers, who's one of the best two-way players in the Lone Star State, Chase beside, alongside Dalton Brooks, who also wear, wears that badge. And, and, and then they're putting together a really nice offensive line class highlighted by Chase Besantis. Look, this is a class, again, that, that uh, uh, in my opinion – 
can come in and push that 2022 class that's so special. And, and uh, you know, I really like the way it's coming together for Texas A&M. I think that they're still building when you look at the way they've recruited under Coach Fisher and company. And and, and the talent is, is coming together for them uh, with with Hicks and Hill and Rogers and, 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 and Brooks and Besant is kind of the next guys in line. It's Gigum for the five-star defensive lineman, David Hicks. Quickly, Steve, I have to ask you, now that Hicks is off the board, we move on to the next player among the defensive linemen in the position rankings, James Smith out of the state of Alabama. What's the latest buzz on that five-star prospect? Well, he's coming off another visit to Alabama. I like the Crimson Tide for him and uh, think that they've kind of set the tone for him. And Quay Rousseau, who's a 24-7 a sports composite five-star edge rusher. They're high school teammates. I think they'll play their college football together. That's no secret. And uh, I think Alabama is, is the one to beat for both of them. But they're going to be back at Auburn this weekend. Uh, they're looking hard at Florida. You know, George is in the mix. They already took an official visit there. Ohio State's always a school mentioned uh, uh, with, with those guys as well. But I like Alabama for James Smith. And look, Texas A&M has become a school that you can never rule out of a recruitment. Uh, uh, certainly uh, Alabama has, all, has had that stature under Nick Saban as they chase the number one class for the 10th time in the Saban era. We're not going to see A&M atop the standings this year because they're just not recruiting a big enough class. But what a recruiting win for them. They're landing most of their top overall targets, and there wasn't one higher on the board than, than David DJ Hicks. And uh, as we turn the page to James Smith, now I like Alabama for him. We'll see if anyone can unseat the Crimson Tide. A very impressive victory. David Hicks headed to College Station to add another five-star to that stacked and loaded defensive line group. Steve, thank you so much for joining us as always. Yep, I appreciate y'all. All right, that is Steve Wolfong. Make sure you stay locked in to 247sports.com for all the latest on every five-star prospect and every other uncommitted and even committed players heading into the stretch run before the early signing period. For Steve Wolfong and our producer, Lance Glenn, I am Blair Angulo. Thank you so much for listening to this five-minute edition of the 247 Sports Football Recruiting Podcast.